Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is going to be an unboxing of the GPD Micro PC as well as some early impressions of the unit. There will be some follow-up videos. I do have a Quanta LB6M that I will be using the RS-232 port to console into, just so we can see that. It's one of the main reasons that I think people are gonna be getting this type of device is it's far more industrial uh, applications as well as legacy applications. So this is the device itself. This is a little lanyard, so you can kind of rope it in. Again, this is a pre-production unit, so there might be some flaws on the case or alignment. So we'll go ahead and just kind of check that. Let's get these this out of the way real quick. See if we can't spot anything. Yeah, you can see right there is like some tiny imperfections. By the time it's shipped out, it should be free of any defects, but you know, they get, uh, GPD products tend to get better as the months go on and different revisions come out. Now, what is this? What is that? Might be like a BIOS reset hole. All right, so let's kind of quickly go over the ports that are available to you. So you have your RS-232, and this is what I'll be demoing the um, when I connect to my Quanta LB6M, which is a 10 gigabit switch. Uh, this is a full HDMI port. As far as I'm aware, this should only be 1.4, but we'll test that and see if it's HDMI 2. Uh, then you have your full USB-A, full USB-A. You have a USB Type-C. We'll do some testing on this, and I have some different ports. We can do USB-C to display port, and we can see if that does 4K60. Uh, as well as I have a hub and we can see how far that breaks out. You have a full RJ45, that's one gigabit. You have another USB-A and a micro SD. We'll test the speeds on that and see how well that comes along. Here is the bottom. You can see a pretty large inlet for the fan. You can kind of see the fan right there. We'll take a look at the innards in a moment. We'll see how this has to come apart. And then the exhaust is right here. Let's go ahead and open up the unit before I open up the bottom. Oh, there's actually more ports in the front. So you have, what is that? It's just the headphone. So this is the, the icon doesn't seem to indicate that it should be a headset. So this is just going to be three pole instead of four pole. And then you have your mic, which you can see the little mic icon right there. And then, oh, there's like little splotches right here from the paint. Okay, now this is pretty interesting. So we have the fan on off switch right here. And I, I believe that this on should be automatic for the fan. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Power this device on. You can see the on switch right here and this should be the charging indicator. Since I'm already jumping in the windows, I guess we'll take a look at the, the motherboard itself towards the end of this video. We jump ahead of this. As has been discussed on the Discord, uh, this is not a touchscreen, so you will be using your thumb to mouse around here. And what's great about this touchpad is that you have all of the features that a normal touchpad has. So if you were to use two fingers and scroll down, it scrolls down, scrolls up. Technically, we should be able to pull out the charms menu, which I would hate if we slide. Sweet, it's not there. That's actually a big bonus in my book. I hate the accidental swipes that bring in this charms bar over here. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, and then so if we just double tap without clicking, it should be a right click. And it is. Sweet. So single tap for left click, double tap for right click, just as a standard laptop touchpad works, which is really nice. Uh, right now the fan is on, so let's see where you can... Not very loud at all. Screen is really nice. Now, I they've said that they are going to include... Can I just right-click over here? Oh, get out of here. So there's actually left and right-click. Yeah, it looks like there is actually left and right-click on this pad as well, which is interesting. And there it is. Yeah, it comes with Windows 10 Pro. That's pretty cool. 
and it is four gigs of RAM and the Pentium N4100, which is very Atom-like, and you should anticipate Atom-like performance. Now, the one thing I that I am noticing is when I'm pressing down over here, can I take off this coating? Um, when I'm pressing down to click, the mouse is like kind of moving a little bit. You see that? Let's see if I can just get that to... No, it's kind of it's kind of difficult. Actually, you have to be not close to the edge. Don't be close to the edge when you're typing, when you're clicking. Oh, did I speak too soon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's. I wouldn't recommend actually clicking there. I would just do a tap for left click, and so like just double tap like that. Take a look at this Bywin SSD, and this is 128 gig. This is an M2 2242 drive, so that you can replace it yourself and upgrade it if you wished. Go ahead and just take a look at this. Tapping works very, very well. Very responsive. Alrighty. Uh, additionally, on this part right here, you can see there's a middle mouse button. So if we were to middle mouse click on this, it should disappear. It does. So this middle mouse click does work as it should as if a um, middle mouse button, which is very nice. I believe that is due to Victor mentioning it. Let's we're gonna do a quick let me actually set that up and I'll do a quick word word count. Alrighty, so we're gonna start this test. And again, these are blind, so I don't actually know what's gonna happen beforehand. Click start. Okay, I pulled into the the keys feel actually really nice. Oh, I'm not where in the world's apostrophe? <laughs> I've already stumbled. Is this it? Fn? Oh boy. So apostrophe is Fn uh, O. Sure enough. Whoop. Lizzie was there waiting for us at the back. Uh, I'm starting to get into the groove of it now. That's not long at all. So there are, the FN keys I, I are the only part that I think that are any part that you actually need to work. Oh boy, I have to do a hyphen. Oh, there it is, thank goodness. Nice. So 30 word per minute on my first go. Not too bad. Um, I think I can definitely increase that by another 10 easily, which is basically what I am where with my win two. So let's go ahead and we're going to power this down. We'll take a look at the, the bottom of this. Take a look at the motherboard itself. Fan seems to be spinning up a little bit more. We're going to be starting to do more tests later on, but this is just going to be an unboxing of what you get inside. See how long it takes to power off. See the quality. Okay, this is off. Oh, snap. You hear that click? Oh, that's a nice click. All right, so give me a moment. I will undo this. We'll take a look. All righty, so there's five screws and they're all the same length. And it comes off like this because you have to be careful of the back ports. What is this metal plate? Oh, this metal plate is for, so there's a metal plate right here with kept on tape. There's some type of connector right here. What does this go to? R Y D micro PC. Oh, this is the, f no, what is this? Is that a speaker? Will that be another speaker? I have to take a look and see what that actually is and remark on that in the review. This is the back, pretty well made. That's the one thing that I actually wanted to comment on. Like, as you see, like the quality of stuff. This is one of the original GPD Win ones. This is still the plastic top case. They made aluminum ones because there was uh, some bad flex on that, and they use aluminum to kind of fix everything. Here is the micro PC itself. So there you can see the Bywin SSD. So this is 2242 M2. So you can replace this. Here you can see the heatsink with a heat pipe connected to this fan. What is this? 
MHPC. I guess that's, I have no idea what that is. We have to take a look at what these is. This is MHPC M39, M3295 NL1836. Let's see, we have also this ITE. What is this? Oh, this is, uh, can we see? It's an Intel, an Intel what? This is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but what is it? What model number? I'm not seeing it. Right, let's see if we can't identify some other pieces in here. We can see the PCB revision, right? Interesting, here's the battery. Let's see if we can get any info on the battery. Okay, 3100 milliamp hour. 7.6 volts, so it is running in series. So you can see those two. It's pretty decent. So in the review, I'm going to have to show you what the total TDP is that's being taken out of this. Um, and we'll get to the bottom of a lot of other stuff. But pretty neat. Before I get to the end of this, let's just see what's, see what's in the box. All right, in the box is just the power cable, and the only important piece of information we need from that is the voltage. So outputs 5 volt at 3 amp, 9 volt at 2.7, and 12 volt at 2 amp. So 5, 9, and 12 volt. Nice. Anyway, that's a quick look at the micro PC and just an unboxing to show what you're going to get inside. I'll be doing some further reviews later on. Uh, expect to see a bunch more videos about this. We'll touch on gaming performance, but again, this is an Atom-based machine, so don't really expect very much out of it. Anywho, as always, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.